Hello everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have another ThreadUp goodie box unboxing for you. ThreadUp goodie boxes are $10. They send you 10 items of clothing and you can do it whenever you want. The $10 goes towards anything that you buy or keep and then they charge you when you send it back for those items and the $10 gets deducted from that price. You just fill out a little questionnaire before you order it and a stylist curates your box and sends it to you. What's interesting is that ThreadUp saw one of my videos and somebody contacted me and said, oh, thank you for sharing your try-on. I will send this to your stylist and she will watch it and refine what she sends to you. So I didn't hear, I said thank you, I didn't hear anything after that, but hopefully that person, whoever my stylist is, did see it and did end up refining it. Um, I have liked a few things that I have gotten. Uh, there was one box I got once where I didn't keep anything. But um, anyway, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so this is what the box looks like when you open it. It comes with the prepaid label so that you can send anything that you don't want to keep back. You do have to go to the post office. You have to send it through USPS. It looks like this, and then the clothes are just stacked in here. So we'll see. Okay. Okay, so these are uh, the first two things, and something that's I really like the smell of whatever detergent it is that they use when they wash all these clothes. Anyway, so this is the top. Uh, I'll come a little closer for the top. This is an Old Navy top, and um, I think it's actually kind of cute. It looks like it fits well. The color, I like and I don't like the color. Um, I'm not sure what to make of it. I think it's a little bit drab, but then at the same time, I think it's kind of earthy and it's got kind of a little bit of a, a hippie-ish style to it. So this one, they say they estimate that it retails for $30 and they want $16.99 if I decide to keep it. And then the jeans, these are, um, these fit really well, they fit really nicely. Uh, women's Articles of Society jeans and they say that the estimated retail is $48 and they would want $17.99 if I kept them. So here, let me show you. They they fit perfectly. Oh, this is a little, there, okay. They fit perfectly. The one thing about these kind of jeans is my husband really doesn't like the tapered leg. And yeah, but I mean, it's not entirely up to him, but I do like to wear what he likes and I do want a couple pairs of jeans like this so that I can wear them with boots. But they fit extremely well. So they were really on point with the size with these jeans, which is um, seems like it would be really hard. So that was awesome. So we'll see what's... Okay, so this is the next outfit. So these jeans don't fit me. I can't get them buttoned up. They're from the Gap, actually. And I really wish that they did fit me, though, because they're kind of like... They're actual, they're actual jeans material. They're not like the stretchy material that is everywhere now. And I really kind of miss being able to easily find a pair of jeans that are actually jean material. And I really like the, the bottoms of them and how, you know, they're like normal, they look, they look like normal jeans that you would have been able to find in the 90s. So many jeans look like the pair that I tried on just before these, which I like those a lot, but I really miss being able to find this kind of style jeans. So I'm really bummed that they don't fit. Uh, they sent me a size 10, I've gained some weight. So these could have fit 10 pounds ago, I'm not sure. But anyway, so I do wish they fit, I like them a lot. I do feel like this kind of sweater, onto the sweater. Oh, so the jeans actually, no, back to the jeans. <laughs> the jeans. The estimated retail is $70 and they would want $16.99 if I kept these. On to the sweater. So this is a Zara pullover sweater. I feel like, and this is just my body dysmorphia talking, but I feel like sweaters like this often make me look bulky. So I don't I don't like this sweater. This I don't like I don't like this sweater. I don't feel comfortable and confident in it. It the estimated retail is $46 and they would want $17.99 if I kept it. Okay, so the pants, these are mine. There aren't any more pants in the box for me to pair with the tops, but this is the next thing. It is by Michael Stars. 
It is a pullover sweater and I think it is really nice and high quality and it feels good. I think it falls on me. It's, a, it's I think it's flattering. I don't know that I don't know that I do very well with this color. I feel like it I feel like maybe it kind of washes out my skin tone a little bit and I look a little bit ghostly in this color. But I will think about keeping this one. They say it retails for 148 and if I kept it they would want 24.99 for for it. So I don't know how much I trust these uh, estimated retail prices, but the, the thread up prices are often quite reasonable, I think. But I don't know that I would pay $24.99 for this. Okay, so this is the next thing. I actually, when I pulled this out, I thought I would hate it. But, and I'm wearing a black bra, so sorry that that kind of ruins the whole look. But I thought I would hate this when I pulled it out. But I like this detail here. This is an Ann Taylor Loft shirt and they say it retails for $40 and if I kept it they would want $18.99. Um, it's definitely cuter than I thought it would be once I put it on but mm, I probably won't keep this. This is an Old Navy shirt and I actually think this is quite nice. I should, oh, I should take a moment to let you guys know that the reason that I'm getting a lot of like Old Navy and Zara and Gap is because when you order a goodie box, you fill out a little questionnaire to begin with and they ask you the price range you're willing to pay and I say I want to pay under $40. So I'm getting the cheaper stuff that they get. You can say my price range is $100 per item and then you'll start to get some of the more designer stuff. But that's why I have a whole bunch of Old Navy stuff. So anyway, that aside, I actually think that this is really pretty. I like the way the sleeves are cut. I could wear this to work. Uh, the material feels really nice. I think it fits me well. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning toward keeping this one. So this one, Old Navy long sleeve blouse. They say the retail is 30. They would want 19.99 if I kept this. That's not a very big discount. Okay, so I will. Okay, show you. so now we're on to dresses, and this one is too small. This is an old navy dress. I think it's really pretty. It's too small in the bust. Well, I mean, I feel it, it's borderline in the bust, but where it's really too small, which is funny, is it in my forearms? I suppose I could see if. Yeah, it's too small in my forearms. It's uncomfortable, and so. Yeah, anyway, so it's a medium. I would have done better with a large in this dress. And this is, the estimated retail on this one's $42. And they would want $27.99 if I decided to keep it. If it fit, I would seriously consider keeping it. I think it's really cute. I think it's really cute. Um, okay, so two more dresses. Okay, so this dress is from The Gap. It's navy, it looks a little, okay, yeah, I think you can see that it's navy. And... It's nice. I could wear it to work with some black leggings and black boots, maybe. Um, I'm not. I'm not totally in love with it. Um, I will think about it. Uh, but anyway, so the Gap casual dress. They say it retails estimated retail is sixty nine dollars, and if I kept it, they would want twenty one ninety nine. Okay, and then this is the last thing. This is a Vince Camuto dress. I kind of like. It's got like a slightly 80s flair to it. I think that it's cute. There's a zipper detail in the back. I I do think it's cute. I know that my husband does not like this color. And again, you know, I wear what I want ultimately, but I don't really want to wear things that I know he doesn't like. And so this one, the estimated retail is $95, and if I were to keep it, they'd want $23.99. Okay, so now for a quick recap. I did feel like they listened to me on the little survey that I filled out. They have this new thing with ThreadUp called Remade, which is actually new clothes, and I don't really understand what is behind that because ThreadUp is supposed to be about recycled, recycled clothing, but ThreadUp has been making their own clothing line called Remade, and there's some sort of buyback program with it, but it's still new clothing, and I'm not perfect. I still shop at Target, I still buy new clothes from Costco, and so 
I'm not perfect, but I like this goodie box because it is recycled pro, uh, clothing and I can try to do what I can to be good about that kind of thing. Um, so I asked specifically for no remake clothing in this box and that was nice. And lately I've been into floral and I think they heard me by putting this in to the box. So that worked out. So I do think that they listened to me with what I fill out in the questionnaire. And I love that this isn't a subscription. You can just do it whenever you feel like, and it's only $10, and the $10 goes towards anything you keep. So this is the first thing I tried on. I am considering keeping this. I do try to adhere to not keeping anything unless it's a slam dunk, hands down, I love it, I know I will wear this. So um, I'm not sure if this is quite there, but I will consider keeping this. This is another long sleeve belt blouse from Old Navy. This one, I, I feel like I would wear this. I, I This is a little more of a hands down yes. I am seriously considering keeping the first pair of jeans that I tried on, uh, even though they're kind of that style, but they're the style that you can wear boots with. That style being the style that my husband doesn't really like, but I can wear boots with them and I need jeans that fit me right now because I gained weight, excuse me. and. I hate how depressed that makes me feel when I gain some weight. It's really unhealthy how depressed that makes me feel. This is that dress that was a little bit too small, particularly around the forearms, which is really interesting, so I'm not gonna be keeping that for sure. And then here is the navy blue dress from, I believe this was from The Gap. And I I didn't, I, I didn't think it was bad. I just didn't feel wowed by it. So I am not gonna be keeping that. Um, I definitely do not want this sweater from Zara. I felt like it looked really bad on me. Um, tell me otherwise, if you think it looks really good, maybe I just don't know what's good for me, you know? So this is, this estimated retail was 148 for the Michael Starrs sweater. And I think it's nice. It, it fell really nicely. It's very light, but I just, I, I don't think I do well with this color actually is mostly why I'm not going to keep that. I really wish these Gap jeans fit. I, you know, it's making me want to go to the Gap and see if I can get this cut in my size because I do like that they're actual jean material and not the stretchy jean. It's so hard now as a woman to find actual jeans, jean jeans, not spandexy jeans. And then this is the Vince Camuto dress. I'm not gonna be considering keeping this. It's, it's cute, but it's not for me. <clears throat> this is the white shirt that I was surprised looked cuter than I thought, and I'm not gonna be keeping that. So that is one thing that I'm probably gonna keep, and two things that I'm leaning toward probably gonna keep. So we'll see. I'll show my husband, see what he thinks. But I think that was a success. And then it's so cheap and it's fun and you get to try on clothes in your own house. I really, I really like the thread up goodie boxes. So I do highly recommend trying it out and you try it. There's no subscri subscription commitment. You do it once, you decide you don't like it. And then 10 bucks later, it's not that big of a deal for some people. I understand that 10 bucks can be a huge deal. There was a time for me when 10 bucks would have put me over the edge for the month's budget. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comments, and consider subscribing. Okay, thank you. I'll see you later. Bye.